at on Tick College to give a, a talk uh, down in St. Donald's there. I give a talk about uh, the drones. I'll, I'll give you these out at the end, but like every good teacher, I don't hand things out before the lesson because I'd be <laughs> reading them and I won't be listening to what I've got to say. Um, but uh, um, I've got quite a lot to say, really, and in one sense, um, there's a tendency at the moment for us to be perhaps a little bit happy that uh, St. Athen has been shelved, uh, as it were. But on the other side, we must remember that uh, there are things going on, um, including Trident, uh, which is still there. It hasn't disappeared, you know, and it would, I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of these uh, things that are being shelved at the moment are going to come back again uh, one of these days. And one of them is, in fact, um, about the drones, which I'm going to talk about today. Um, and it's uh, something that I would... I mean, this is where I think it's important that we have contact with journalists. You know, I, I happened to go to a St. David's Day dinner um, in, um, in Carnarvon, and the journalist was there, the, uh, Karen Owen, who writes for the Cymro. And um, I told her that uh, we'd heard... Um, because Chris Cole, who used to be the director of FOI England, had come to talk to us in Porth Madog and in Carnarvon about drones, and uh, got his speech here, but it's a three-hour speech, so I'm not going to give that one. Um, <laughs> but um, I, a lot of information in there. But uh, I then explained this to her over lunch, you know, nice lunch and so on, and, and, you know, it's useful to do that with journalists, because then you get a whole page, you know, <laughs> in the paper, you know. Um, and uh, it's actually, uh, for us, in one sense, it's a lucky story, because it means we've got a focus now for the drones in North Wales as well. So we don't have to go down to other parts every time we want to protest. We can now protest locally. Uh, against drones, because um, <coughs> what's happened is that the uh, um it's uh, an RF site, where they used to have actually pilotless aircraft that they flew over the um, Cardigan Bay here, and rockets from Aberporth would hit these targets, as it were, um, and that's the history of, of the centre. Um, but now they want to introduce the real uh, drones there because um, what happened was the RAF uh, sold the site to the Welsh Assembly Government and now the Assembly Government has put in a planning application to the Snowdonia National Park Authority which is the planning authority um, to enable uh, them what they say is that they want to sell the site so obviously in order to sell the site they have to get permission for the drones to be able to fly from there and it is a very easy permission to get because the history of it is that um, the Sandonia um, Society, which is a, a nature society in the area, has been um, campaigning to stop um, another company moving into Thambedr. Um, it was a touristic company that wanted to fly private planes from there over Sandonia. Um, but... Um, the point was that that would have meant a change of use from military to civil, and that change of use was refused. So with this application, there's no need for a change of use application. It is simply um, an application to fly them at a site that's already approved, as it were, as a military site. So in that way, it will be easier for them to have permission for this. And then what they will do, the government will do, will be to send it <coughs> off, of course, to um, the Quintec or one of the, um, or Elmet probably, the uh, company in, um, that's working on, on the drones in, in Aberforth. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we, so watch this space with this one, but at least we've got it into the paper and it's starting to move and we'll need to go there before long now to hold <coughs> our, pro our protest there. Um, the drones are in the news every day this week. I, I bought, well, I get the, I get the, um, the Economist, you know, and um, there's an article in the Economist this week um, about aerospace in Israel, and there, the Israel's biggest defence firm is getting ready for privatisation because it's been under the government up till now, and now the government's going to sell the shares in it. And again, there's a picture there of a drone which is their main work, because they used to 
they had developed a fighter plane, um, but they didn't. It didn't uh, develop entirely because America wanted to sell its F um, whatever they are. F sixteen. The F sixteen. Yeah, that's right. So so therefore. They moved from building those to building drones instead. And of course, they've got an agreement with the British government now to, um, uh, they, the British government was renting drones from them, you see, um, as so much an hour for renting them. Um, but of course, Britain now is going to develop its own drones with the help of the Israeli uh, <coughs> government and, and this Israeli company. So, um, so, it is interesting how things are getting more into the news every day about uh, drones. I've got a little video here which um, is done by CNN actually um, about drones and I thought that it, if you'd like we can show you this. It's a short film, it's, it's uh, about a quarter of an hour but it does explain everything about drones in a much better way than I can because it's done by people who fly them. So. They know more than I do about how they're used, you know. Um, so shall we um, have a 